Hey guys, it's Julian. and welcome back to my channel. So it is Wednesday afternoon and the month is closing in on us. But before we go ahead and do any collection type of tour videos, I wanted to go ahead and take care of my big bundles of succulents that I got in my $25 challenge. I had so much fun doing that particular series and episode. And I can't wait to see where I take the series, but I do have the bundles of succulents here brought back from Las Vegas. So I wanted to go ahead and take them apart and see what I can save. As you can see, it's probably been in here for a while because there is weeds growing in here, but I want to try to save what I can save. And I hope this inspires you if you ever get a gift basket in the future as a gift or you see one on sale like I did you can go ahead gut them out and try to save them and then you can also regift them as well so I really don't know how to start off with this guy but I do have my shovel with me and we're gonna go ahead and take them apart and we'll switch the point of view all right so here we are I have a bunch of different things happening here I want to try to go ahead and save the big Echeveria here first without doing any damage. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of lift it up on the sides here to loosen up the soil. And I'm gonna try to get these guys first now. So let's pull this guy out. Ooh, take a look at this guys. So, I mean, there is some damage here, but look, there's a pup here. There's like one, two, three little babies here. And I'll go ahead and kind of clean it up as we go and see what we can save. So we'll set this on the side. There is another one here, maybe one, two. Let's see if they're stuck together. Can we separate them? Here we go. There's two here. How fun is that? Now let's go ahead and see if I can pull this guy out. Let's loosen it up. Dig deep. I don't know how far down these roots go. Here we go. All right. So let's clean up this guy here. Oh. I'm gonna just take that guy off here. And I'm gonna take this guy off. Let's clean him up. I think I'll take this guy off since it's also damaged as well. And we can try to propagate that. So here's the condition of it. Not that bad. I see some roots here. And then I'll callus this over and see what happens if it gives me a whole new baby. Now these guys seen better days, but we can easily go ahead and take the petals off and propagate them and get more babies you can see here there's another one here and I see some roots happening here but they seem better days so we're gonna take the petals off and propagate it by little baby petal cuttings and then here's an Echeveria shake it off here and this guy is not that bad, so I think I'm going to just leave him as is. But if he was in really bad condition, like this guy looks kind of kind of sad, we'll go ahead and take the leaves apart. But look guys, I got a whole new baby here. And the rest is soil, so we'll go ahead and we can always reuse this, I suppose. I'll set this on the side. Okay, what else do we have here now? Let's go ahead and loosen up this guy here. Okay, that was fairly easy. I'm gonna just take the bottom petals off because they are not looking very good here. Now this guy looks pretty sad. We can go ahead and take all of the petals off and make more babies. But I just want to clean them up first before we go ahead and do that. So this is the condition of this guy here. So we'll fix him up and get more babies out of him. Now, 
as you can see, I want to deal with this guy here next. So I don't know what the condition of him is. So here he is. Now, we'll just shake him off and see what comes off. These guys I'm going to propagate by little petals. As you can see, there's one guy here that is already giving some new growth. So we'll set these on the side, save them. And then I think I'm just going to keep them as is and we'll go ahead and put them in a little planter. And this is the whole reason why I wanted this particular bundle is because of this guy. Let's see what we have here. Yay! Comment down below guys if you know what this particular succulent is. It is on the fuzzy side, but look at how cute that is. That looks really good. And then I'm just going to gut this out and we can easily re-gift this over the holiday season. So I have my tray here and I have everything kind of set up into planters that I want to put them in. So I'm going to work with the biggest guy here first. So I have a planter that I picked up yesterday, a brand new one. I got some extra ones. So I got another one for Shannon's gift. So I'm going to go ahead and just reuse the soil. him in loosen up the roots here and then I'm gonna go in with more soil here and fill in the edges here and do the same thing on this side here Press it in. I think this is gonna look so cute and I think this itself was worth five dollars. What a deal. So here it is in its new home. I think it looks absolutely perfect in this planter. So this is gonna live next to my calancho in the front of my house, the Kalankoi. I think it's absolutely adorable. What do you guys think? I think that was a nice fix me up. Now let's work with this guy here. Take out the soil here. Let's go ahead and put this here. And then I'm gonna hold my fingers like so. And then we are going to fill in the edges. Press it in. This is my favorite out of the whole pack that I got. Don't know what he is, but he's super cute and he's fuzzy. Oh, look at this. How adorable. So I'm just using terracotta planters that I had stored on my potting bench. And I decided to go with the taller one just because he's super tall. And I'm just pressing the soil down so that it'll stand tall. And here it is. I think it's super, super cute. And then this guy. Let's add a little in. And we'll see if he starts looking sad I'll go ahead and propagate him but I want to try to see if I can keep him the way how he is for the most part and if there's any fallouts we'll just propagate it by leaf how cute I don't know what this guy is but he has some pastel blushy colors to him he gets super super cute and I think that's gonna take care of this guy what do you guys think? Love that. And let's take care of this Echeveria. I'm not too sure what type of Echeveria this is. 
but we'll save him. Trying to get him sitting up center. He was smashed in that planter tin. thing I think it's perfect we'll see hopefully he'll stretch open and I'll definitely rotate him so he can get even sun let's put this on the side here all right let's take care of these guys center then we'll put these little babies here I'm just gonna group them together for now and if I want to give them as trades or gifts or sell them I can easily go ahead and pull them out but for now they will just live here in this planter I think like this and if and when I do get a bigger planter, I can easily switch them out. But for now, those just stay here. Definitely more real estate than what they were in. So we'll just keep them together for now, but I can easily put it in the Christmas bundles that I'm making for friends or trades or sell whatever I want but for now at least it's in here and I think that looks good enough for me so if you remember my snake plant I bought a planter for him yesterday let's take him apart and as you can see there's multiple babies here but I may want to just keep them together or maybe separate who knows let's see what we got here Sensitive areas are super easy to propagate. I'm going to do a separate video propagating a bunch of them. But I think for now, I kind of like the fullness. And let's see, maybe we can have it go in the popcorn planter. Let's see here. I think we're going to do that, guys, because I have all of my bird's nest snake plants in, in the popcorn planters. And this one was thrifted from Arizona, so that's cool. Do this. Okay, let's see if this is enough soil. How cool is this? I think we'll do this and this. Maybe have it like that. I think that looks perfect. And then we'll add a little bit more soil. Oh, I can't wait to see them plant gang together with the other popcorn planters. How fun is that? So at least I know there's two. I can easily give one as a gift if I wanted to. And I'll do a sense of area propagation video in the future I love that that is so adorable I knew I was saving this popcorn planter for a new upcoming family member in the plant gang okay that works for me I think this is so adorable check this out isn't that adorable how cute is that so I'm just going to do one more press down here in the center. And good to go. Yay, how cute. Guys, so I have a few things here. 
I have three planters and maybe two others on the floor that I want to go ahead and fill. And I didn't think I was going to do this now, but since I'm on a roll, let's go ahead and fix these. So this is the Long Beach succulents and I want to try and fix them up but save these Kalinkoe babies here we take a look here I have these little planters I want to try to save them I'll put them in here so we'll just leave it here for now let's go ahead and try to save this guy here's another baby so that's cool it's like a little bonus that's a, that has happened to me before. Let's go ahead and just save them on the side, I believe. There's another guy here that I can save. Put out. Don't know how far this root goes. Here's another one. Stick that in there. I believe there's one other guy here. Very small baby. see him there so set them on the side all right so now I'm gonna break up the soil here and these are planters that I just had on my potting bench and we're just gonna go ahead and stick these guys in fill it up I can't wait to see these in my patio amongst the rest of the plant gang because they've been sitting in my patio in their nursery planters for over a week now but I'm back I can go ahead and take care of them let's fill it up a little more work with this guy here now I know this planter is on the big side but I don't have any other smaller planters for him and I wanted to take care of him so let's see what we got so this is interesting take a look at this some interesting growth happening here never know what you're gonna get here's another new baby off of a leaf and I think everything else looks okay, so... Making a mess here, but... The sun's going down and... I wanna get these planted up today. What that is, weed. of the plant panda plant so cute here's another guy if you can see here more roots on this guy here so this looks like this is it for this guy so let's go ahead and just fill it up a little more this is on the big side, but I don't have anything else for him. So for now, he's just going to have to live here. But I think it'll be doable for now. How adorable is this? I can't believe it. I've been always wanting one, but now I got one and a big one for an amazing deal. And I can easily propagate and make more babies. So again, if there's any fallouts like these guys here I can go ahead and make a whole new plant if 
by propagating by leaf. It's gonna backfill here. Love that. So here's the entire new look. I think I picked out a really good one. Here's another fallout here. But what I'm gonna do is, and I do this sometimes, if I'm not gonna put them on a tray, I'll just keep them laying on dirt in the same planter. And that helps me know at least what kind of cutting it, it is and where it came from. So that's perfect. Love that. We're just going to go ahead and set the babies here. And um, they'll just hang out here until further notice. This is like so interesting here. But that's going to be it for this guy. I'm going to move him on the side. Put this here. Alright, so here is my new baby that I got from Las Vegas. This planter is cracked, so I'll go ahead and throw it out. And then I have my Arizona planter, and we're just going to go ahead and stick it right into here. And I think that looks super cute. And that's it for this guy. So that was fairly easy. We're going to do this guy today. I definitely want to see what his root condition is like. this is let me get this planter here and we'll use it on him just gonna backfill just using the soil here cute one last plant that I want to go ahead and plant up I ran out of planters so there is more plants I do need to plant up but I'll have to figure it out in the next day or so here's the propeller plant and I actually want to propagate the baby and I'm just gonna use the planter that I got from the thrift shop in Arizona I think it'll work well it's not in my aesthetic of being white or cobalt blue but it'll work for now see how I can propagate this baby here so I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this little baby here and expose the root and here is the baby right here so we're gonna go ahead and just stick it into dirt and break this up a little more this is such a cool plant. I can't believe I got it at such an amazing price and it's so huge. And then I definitely want to go ahead and try to straighten him up because he was leaning to the side. So let's go ahead and kind of maybe push him on this end here and then come in on this side and fill it up. cool in this guy and if I don't like the way how he looks I can easily switch him out but for now at least he's in a new home
we'll see maybe he might be too tall for this planter but for now I may have to put a chopstick or something on him to stand him up questionable questionable I don't like him I'll switch him out otherwise I'm trying to think who could go in this tall planter or I can always give it as a gift with a different plant I think you just want to lay sideways hmm okay guys at some point tonight i'm gonna find a stick for him to stand upright like this so for now i think i'm gonna leave it as is i will get some kind of chopstick or stake for it to stand up tall and if i find a better planter for his aesthetic and a better plant for this planter i'll go ahead and switch out but at least for now it's in here and it has a home let's go ahead and fix these babies here wow my potting tray is taking a beating today so let's go ahead and add a little bit more soil on here i'm gonna fix these babies into here without damaging them because i want to save them how cool is that i got some bonus babies we'll stick it in here be very careful to not ruin any of the roots here Very careful. I think maybe we'll put two and two. So without ruining this guy, let's see here. Can we get a little bit more soil in here. The smallest babies. I think that's gonna be it for this guy. So there's two of them in here, if you can see. One, two. And then let's go ahead and save these two together. You guys can go here. And here. Press it in a little. And get a little bit more soil in here. All right, here it is. So we'll just keep them on the side and they'll go on my propagation station. And then this guy is gonna go ahead, put some soil in here and then stick him just like this. And he'll easily root up into a whole new baby. I can always give it as a gift later or a trade or who knows, but they're gonna go on my propagation station all next to each other but how cool is that so now i have you in a lower point of view and we're just gonna go ahead and place all of the petals on this cardboard and i just have it on a nursery tray that i got when i got a bunch of babies in a previous haul and we're gonna go ahead and get this guy here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take all the petals off starting from the bottom and we're just gonna lay them on here and they're gonna callus over on them. So I'm just going right by the stem and then slowly wiggling it back and forth. And then we'll go ahead and get new babies out of these petals here. So if you have a succulent that's not looking the greatest, you can easily go ahead and propagate it like so. And once they are calloused over, we can go ahead and lay them onto dirt but I like to go ahead and lay them on cardboard first and try to see if we can save any once it's calloused over they can go into step two which is being on soil so I'm just doing it one at a time here I'm gonna get more babies Hopefully each of them will survive and become into a new plant. How cool would that be? So we'll 
will see how they how well they callus over and what I can save. And I would be happy if I even get five new babies out of this, but I think we can get more. And these will just callus over in my patio and then we'll put them on the propagation station tray. I'm trying my best to get it as close as possible from the root. And I'm going to save this rosette on the top. Look at all of this potentials. How fun is that? So I'm only doing this because this was part of that bundle and um, I think we'll do these last two here. All right. So now that we have this here, I'm gonna get my scissors here and I'm gonna go ahead and propagate it here. So, I'll chop this here. And then this is just gonna lie right onto dirt. But I'll callus over this here. This is my upcycle cardboard, and I'm just gonna have them all callus over. And once they're callus over, we'll go ahead and lie them onto dirt. We'll see what happens, who will make it. And I wanna do the same thing for these guys here. So I'm just going to lay them out here so we can make more babies. Being as fast as I can because the sun's going down. Okay. So I'm just twisting. We'll cut this here. And we'll just make more babies. These are kind of sad looking, so we'll see what happens with them. But I just kind of consider these just little projects and a bonus from that $5 bundle that I got on sale in Las Vegas. So I'm just twisting. And they'll just callus over and be potential future babies. That takes care of that. And I'm just gonna let this spread out. We could even have it all on the same core board if I wanted. Alright guys, so here is all of the potential babies. I have them just laying on a cardboard and we're going to have them callus over. I'll lay them onto dirt and we'll go ahead and see how many babies we get. So this is what I'm going to try to save. So if you ever come into that problem like me, where you get a bundle of succulents in a gift basket or maybe in your collection and you want to go ahead and just kind of break them apart and make more babies, this is a perfect way to get more for your money and easily get more babies for your collection and so forth so i'm gonna go ahead set this on the side and let's wrap up the video Guys, i brought them out in front of my patio door because this is the best lighting that i have right now at this time of day i have my sensevaria snake plant in my popcorn planter i got this particular baby from las vegas and then i have my three succulents that i got from the long beach hall into planters these two particular planters i just had stored on my potting bench just waiting for the perfect match and then my propeller succulent is in that thrifted arizona planter and then i have my big echeveria in a terracotta planter that i got yesterday taking a look at the lower section here i have this beautiful echeveria in a new terracotta planter and then i have my succulent that i saved from the las vegas bundle in a new terracotta planter and then these guys here on the bottom 
are all from the Las Vegas bundles into terracotta planters that I had on my potting bench and then I also have my new Las Vegas baby in my thrifted Arizona planter and I have these little babies just in regular nursery planters and that is today's plant gang let me know what do you guys think that was a lot of work not including all of the petals that we propagated on the cardboard that is going to wrap up today's video it got me sitting on the floor in the front of my patio door but the lighting is really bad right now because the sun is setting and my patio is very dim if you watch my channel you know i have a big pine tree above my home which causes a lot of mess every day so i definitely need to sweep my place now but I have so many new babies here, not including all of the petals that we propagated from the succulents that I rescued. We have new babies from Long Beach, new babies from Las Vegas. What do you guys think? Let me know what was your favorite. Again, if I feel like I get new planters in my collection that works better with these succulents that I got from Long Beach, I'll go ahead and switch them out. But this is what I had currently on my potting bench and I just wanted to get them into a planter. Propagated it by petals and then we separated it and got it into some different planters. But I'll keep you guys posted. I'll go ahead and put the callus petals onto dirt when they callus over in a day or two. And then we'll go ahead and make more babies for the future. What inspires you to save a succulent, whether it's a current succulent that you have in your collection right now or one that you get gifted and it just doesn't look really nice. Or you can be like me and rescue them from wherever you buy your plants from and get more babies. Guys, we got so a lot done. I need to go ahead and wash my hands after this. but. We got a bunch of brand new babies from Las Vegas as well as Long Beach planted up in today's video. I do have more babies I need to go ahead and plant up but I ran out of planters and it is getting dark and it's a pretty long video. Not including the rescue succulents that we took apart and propagated by petals. They'll go ahead and callus over in a day or two and then I'll go ahead and lay them onto dirt. Long Beach succulents that are on the bigger side like these three here. If I see a better pairing for planter and plant I'll go ahead and switch them out in the future but this is what I had currently right now in my collection so this is what it's going to be in for now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I'm so glad I'm able to be back home for a week and a half so we'll do more planting and videos in my patio. I'm gonna wrap up this video because it is 4 30 and the sun's going down but I'll keep you guys posted and I'll see you guys on the next one. You can find more on my blog at iwjulian.blogspot.com. Let me know what was your favorite in today's video as well as the pairing of plant and planter but i think my snake plant in the corner over there in the popcorn planter is like i'm loving it because now i can add it to my popcorn planter sense of area collection how fun is that to my channel definitely hit the bell to be notified whenever i do an upload i try to do five videos a week or daily videos if i can and hit the subscribe button and join my online plant community that i am building one video at a time Aloha from Santa Monica. Bye guys. Bye.